my friend and welcome back to the channel and a new weekly reset routine. It has been a while since I've done some of these tasks here and it was definitely time for a whole house reset. And stay tuned as I had the urge to purge and we're gonna do some extreme decluttering throughout the video. I'm going to share a house update and yeah, just lots, lots, lots happening in today's video. For now, I am just unpacking as I just got back from my parents' house from across the country. Without getting into too many details, my mom is going through some health issues, so I made a super last minute trip back home by myself to spend some quality time with her before she starts some treatment on Tuesday. So I would appreciate any and all prayers for my mom. When I got home, it was right back into routine. You can see me putting all of my work stuff away as I got home at about 9 o'clock p.m. the previous evening and the following day I had scheduled some of my cleaning clients so we are getting all of that laundry done from my trip as well as for my job. I was gone for six days total and I'm grateful to have an incredible husband who held the fort down, kept the kids alive, and cleaned the house while I was away. Now it is time for me to come in and put that professional touch on it and just catch up on my own things. I'm going to finish putting these dirty clothes into the laundry baskets, get everything sorted and put away, and then we're going to move into tackling the mess in the kitchen. So as you can see here in the kitchen, we had a lot to catch up on in here. My number one focus that I've been slacking on really is I needed to clean out our refrigerator. I used to do this weekly reset and like I had this great routine literally all the time and cleaning the inside of the fridge was part of that and I somehow just fell off the bandwagon and I need to get back onto it because honestly it is like I'm thriving when that is part of my routine. So before I'm able to clean up and declutter in the fridge, we have some basic cleaning tasks here to do first. I'm going to get these clean dishes put away, get the dishwasher emptied and ready to be filled through the day, wipe the counters, you name it, we're getting it done in the kitchen. so sick over the last few days here. I'm actually working on this voiceover at 4 a.m. today, like the day you were seeing this video so that I could get it up on time. So stay tuned, you guys. Today's video is jam-packed full of motivation. We're going to be decluttering in my daughter's bedroom and I'm sharing a house update and makeover as well. So make sure you stay tuned for all of that and some extreme motivation. So happy that I found you and paper thin always been this shy but haven't felt this in a while now okay i wanted to do an updated kind of caraway review so i have had my caraway pots and pans now for over a year it was a year at the beginning of may may 7th to be exact and i purchased these with my own money and i'm gonna break down the wear and tear after one year and what i would do differently and just what I love, what I don't love, and all the tea. I'm spilling it, so let's do it. Okay, so one thing that I would definitely do again is purchase a darker color. I love the navy. If you purchase it from Crate and Barrel, they have a navy and gold, which is stunning. And so Caraway launched more iconic colors because they're amazing. Now, with that being said, our most used pots and pans, I'll start with first. My most used frying pan is the smaller one here. 
and you can see on the bottom it does have some wear and tear like it normally it would and to me that's normal with any pot so i don't see this necessarily as a con it's just normal wear and tear now it did leak on the side here as you can see and i apologize about you can see like my little ring light thing here the lighting is awful today and it is my only day to film this so doing my best with that being said like i said you can see it there and that is because my husband cracked an egg on it not knowing you're not supposed to do that and so it's no one's fault but our own and again that is like the worst of it it is still non-stick after one year going on strong you can see the inside of it is totally fine and mind you i do take really good care of these but i think if you do take good care of them they're going to stand the test of time my next most used one is this saucepan and i use this every single evening for cooking my daughter's vegetables you can see on the bottom the wear and tear is not as bad as the frying pan and i love the way that it heats up it is very very quick to heat up and honestly i have no bad things to say about this one so next we have the large pot this is actually my least favorite pot i don't use it very often and the reason being is obviously it's quite large so it would actually be good for like soups but over the last year i haven't really made a ton of soup what I make the most in this size pot is mashed potatoes and my electric mixer has metal and so I can't mash them directly in the pot. And so to me, it's not worth it to like hand wash this and like dirty two different pots. And so I did actually keep my stainless steel pots um, that are this size specifically for when I am doing mashed potatoes. Now we don't have mashed potatoes very often either. Honestly, it's like maybe three times a year during like Thanksgiving and Christmas and that sort of thing. So this size pot really would be my least favorite and least used regardless of if it was like the caraway or stainless steel. So keep that in mind if you are doing this one. Again, if you have metal, you cannot use metal in here. And with my electric mixer being metal, um, yeah, that's kind of that. <laughs> Before we get into the bakeware, I have this big, large um, saucepan, I think is what it's called. I actually don't know the names of these, which is really bad. I should know that. But you can see this one has a minimal wear and tear. It is definitely not used as frequently, but it is still used weekly. This one has definitely stood the test of time. We're not cooking eggs in this every single day like we do the other one. And so you can kind of see, I will do a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see the difference in wear and tear in these. But overall, I'm really, really happy with how these have held up over one year. Okay, so I'm not gonna go into like a super detailed review of the bakeware, other than the fact that I absolutely love them. You know that I am all about swapping things out for non-toxic whenever I can. And these non-stick pans, whether you're using the pots, the pans, the bakeware, like the nonstick truly is phenomenal. I actually just went to my parents' house back in Saskatchewan in my hometown and they had just normal stainless steel and I used their stainless steel frying pan and I was just like, I don't know how people live without caraway. Like my heart and soul is dedicated to caraway. I am very, very happy with them. Again, a year into it. I've had the bakeware for, I think about six months now, maybe it's seven or eight now, something like that. The bakeware, this is my pan that has the most wear and tear, which is why I wanted to show it to you. The rest of them still look brand new and I can show you just a brief overview of them. But yeah, today's video is more so about the cookware. So I wanted to share that with you. So like I said, this is the one that has the most wear and tear. As you can see, it's not very bad on the front, but when you flip it over to the sides, you can see right here where my finger is, the wear and tear, it goes all the way around. So it is very stained and will not come clean. Truthfully, I think it is from cooking in the oven and then having a pan underneath it and then the steam like just discoloring it obviously when you're using white it is bound to get dirty so truthfully the only thing i would do differently is i would not purchase the white one or a light colored 
I am tried and true on the navy and then the black and gold iconic is probably what I will be switching to in the future when I add to my collection and stuff like that. I love the white and gold. I think it's beautiful. I love the lighter colors like I truly do. But for me as a busy mom, like they're just not very practical. Now, if you are not maybe cooking as often as me, like I'm baking every like again, this is used twice a day. So this is very, very well used and loved and it still is functional, right? The non-stick still works. Everything still works beautifully. They're just not as aesthetically pleasing on the back anymore, which nobody sees anyway, right? So it's like, I don't know, pick and choose. But moving forward, like I said, I will do the probably the black iconic set just for that reason, as I want them to continue to look beautiful. Another one that I use very frequently is the large one. And so same thing, it just has a little bit of discoloration on the sides. And then you can see the paint has chipped ever, ever so slightly on the corner there. And this one is actually used daily as well. So the other one's used probably twice a day. This one is once a day. But as you can see on the front, totally fine. The nonstick is still beautiful. No scratches or anything on the front. And obviously the rack is amazing. I use it for cooling cookies and stuff all the time as well. And so I do love it. My last one that I use the most frequently is my muffin tin. I just have to shout out Caraway. Can you make these in a mini tray, please? I would like greatly, greatly appreciate it. I'm actually gonna be baking muffins a little bit later in the video, so you will see. Um, but I do like to make mini ones because my kids truthfully don't eat a full muffin and I can feel less guilty giving them a little mini one. <laughs> and so I make, I always make 12 big ones for my husband and I, which my husband won't be eating them right now, but for myself, and then I make mini ones for the girls. And whenever I use these compared to just like my other ones that I have, I don't even know what they are. They're probably Teflon, truthfully. Maybe, I don't think they're stainless steel. Um, they're awful. They are truly awful. They stick and it's just, yeah. I'm, again, I am sold on Caraway. And so that is my honest review on my Caraway after one year. And then again, probably six or eight months or so with the baking set. I truly love them. They are still non-stick and going on strong. And I know that there has been quite a few bad reviews on them. And I think that if you do take care of them and that like, you can still use them every day, just because you're taking care of them doesn't mean that you're not using them. You can still use them every single day. Just take care of them. And I truly believe that they will stand the test of time because they have for myself. If you are wanting to try Caraway and you haven't yet, I do have a discount code with them and I will leave the link down below in the description for you to shop. Just click the link and it will automatically give you 10% off your entire Caraway order. So sad when we are apart. If you leave, you break my heart I need you To need me too Stay with me when it's getting dark Hold me tight, close in your arms I want you To want me too Why is it so hard to just be honest? Why is it so hard to speak the truth? Why is it so hard to just be honest? Now it is time to wipe the exterior of the fridge. Then we're gonna move inside, declutter, toss some expired condiments and give it a good clean. I am using my Sage multi-purpose spray on the interior and the exterior of my fridge. So 
The camera is not picking up how dirty it was in here and truthfully, I forgot to take any close-up shots so I apologize about that but trust me when I say it was filthy in here and I don't remember the last time I cleaned it. <laughs> don't judge me. Again, for products, I'm using my non-toxic Sage Essential Cleaner. I'll have that link down below in the description. I've been using this multi-purpose spray like all over my house and I absolutely love it and I've been using it for months now. So I can, again, as a professional cleaner, I use it in my personal home and there, I have no bad things to say about this cleaner. It is really, really good. I only ended up decluttering I think like five items in the condiments here due to their high sugar content and expiration dates, which makes me really happy. I strongly dislike wasting and tossing food, especially this day and age. I mean, like inflation, am I right? Grocery prices are outrageous, but I digress a little bit. I wanted to give you guys some extreme decluttering motivation and I got the urge to purge. So stay tuned, we are gonna jump into that really, really soon. grocery store I got the groceries put away and I wanted to share a little house update and then we are going to get some more decluttering while I was away visiting my mom back in my hometown my husband tackled three house projects this room being one of them so this is my old office I'm not going to show you the new one yet it is totally trash and it's not at all what we are going to be doing so this room is going to be changing obviously so stay tuned for a room makeover we are turning this into a bedroom and I can't wait. So it's gonna be a spare room for all of our guests. And yeah, there's just kind of a lot going on behind the scenes. And then if we walk over here, this is the big reveal. Our daughter's bedroom has been totally changed. So I obviously did not film it as he did all of this while I was gone. So I got these beds from one of my clients and my husband painted them. So they were real wood and he painted them, allowing them to choose their colors. So my oldest picked purple and then my youngest picked this beautiful kind of green color. We used chalk paint and um, yeah, love the way it turns out. This dresser was actually my husband's dad's and so it goes way, way back. It's in the fam and obviously it's been painted white and pink. You guys have seen these if you've been around for a while. My mother-in-law painted that one for them. And then my husband just painted their bookshelf 
and it's actually similar to the green in my daughter's bed but it's actually blue it's not really picking up on camera and then in the closet he built this almost like ikea pack system um but it's not an ikea packs it's actually like custom made for the closet so obviously all of their stuffies are there up top my youngest daughter has this side and then my oldest daughter has this side so as you can see there is a lot in here and i need to declutter so this is what we are decluttering this is the project we're going to tackle is their entire closet as well as these drawers now some of this has been decluttered like just kind of here and there so i will show you what we've decluttered so far so there's actually there was three bags but the other one has already made it outside to the trash but that was decluttered and then this was decluttered from their bedroom as well as my office now in here is just like an old pillow some products i'm getting rid of these little containers that i no longer use and like like stuffies stuff like that so um nothing crazy there's like a couple outfits in there that were 4t that don't fit my daughter anymore as well as some shoes so we're going to donate that that is i think all garbage and then we had another bag that was all garbage not salvageable so that is kind of where we have decluttered off camera so far but then we're going to move back into their bedroom and start decluttering so if you need some extreme decluttering motivation girl you are in the right place go ahead and put me up on whatever device tackle a drawer with me tackle a cabinet in your bathroom like whatever it is maybe tackle your kids clothes with me but let's do this together also you can hear my robot vacuum in the background as your girl doesn't have time to vacuum today. I always say time invested in one area is time taken away from another. You just can't do it all. So although this is kind of like a get it all done, um, I am delegating a lot of this. My husband has helped out a lot off camera, obviously, and my robot vacuum is vacuuming the house. So sometimes you just can't get it all done. Give yourself some grace, mama. So opening the first drawer, this is real life for you. We are going to try and keep the girls clothes folded. I'm usually not a folder, but I don't know. My husband wants to try it, so we're gonna do it. So this is my oldest daughter's pants for school. Second one is my youngest daughter's pants and shorts for school as they do wear a uniform. And then this is just socks and underwear. I've actually just recently decluttered this, so they're isn't much to do, but I'm still gonna empty it out and go through it. This next one is my oldest daughter's pajamas, and then the bottom one is my youngest pajamas. So this is what we're gonna start with, is this one right here. He got it out for me, you know. He's such a lion searching prey. Sweet talking dirty on the floor. Look like an honest copy paste Swarm around my head, look the way he goes Buzzing like he thinks that he's my hero Thinking of taking a break, shutting it down to refresh Honey, it's all for the better Oh no So spit it out to my face comes to decluttering I like to work in sections so focus on one room at a time and break that up into sections and then break those sections up even further just to help ease the overwhelm for instance today we're decluttering in my kids shared bedroom we are breaking it up into section by doing the dresser first and that is being broken down even further by just doing one drawer at a time I like to always empty it out and start with a clean slate so today is no exception we are emptying out the drawers and decluttering the items, sorting them as I go into three piles. One is keep, one is trash, and three is donate. We will move through each drawer individually before moving on to any other area of the room. You could always just do one drawer a day, 
or one section a day, depending on your decluttering muscles. If you're fairly new to decluttering, I'm going to recommend you watch my messy to minimal playlist and start small rather than tackling one large room as you're just going to get overwhelmed. Moving into their closet, I am actually not emptying this part out today. So do as I say, not as I do, as I started running out of time and I was only getting rid of a few items in here as my husband literally had just decluttered in here while I was away and while he built this organizational system because he had to empty out the closet. And so he knew there was a few things that we could just get rid of. And so he did that, which I am very grateful for. Well, that was very uneventful. I got rid of one sweater and one shirt. So there was not much to get rid of in here. I'm guessing after the summer, they'll probably grow a little bit and we'll probably be able to get rid of a ton of shirts. They have a lot of t-shirts that like they're not quite out of, so I don't wanna quite get rid of them yet. And then again, I'm sure as we get into the summer here, I'll probably have to do another huge purge maybe in like September before they go back to school. And so I'm gonna flip the camera around and just share what I got rid of. So this is it, it is not much. There is a pair of PJs that are size four. That shirt was size four, that is size four. And then those socks are either, well, they're really dirty as you can see, <laughs> like, look at that. However, they are size two to four. So they're not gonna fit the kids. They have now outgrown them. So those are all the ones that they've outgrown. I actually kept some other ones that were pretty dirty for when we go camping. So we're gonna keep those as my goal is not to like purge and then have to repurchase. My goal is to just be more intentional and mindful when I am decluttering. And so maybe that's like the hoarder in me. <laughs> I always say like I'm I was like a borderline hoarder, right? Um, turned minimalist-ish. So maybe call me a middle malist, not a minimalist and not a maximalist, but like somewhere in the middle where I thrive on an easy to clean home, a home that's easy to maintain. I love decluttering now. I never used to like it. In fact, it was something I never ever did in my home. But now that I have ruthlessly decluttered my home in my messy to minimal series, which if you haven't seen, go and check it out. There's like some extreme decluttering motivation in there. But now that I've done that, now it's just more about the maintenance declutter. Sometimes things still pile up. Again, we are a family of four. We live in this house, we buy things, we try to be very intentional and stuff like that. And then we are also gifted a ton. We get lots of hand-me-down clothes from my husband's side of the family because they are really close to us and then our kids are about six months apart. So very grateful for all the things that are gifted to us, including these beds, like these beds that you guys saw, they were actually a gift to us. And we say, if it's for free, it's for me, <laughs> which is a blessing and also a curse. But um, as long as you are intentional with it and then it's not like affecting you and how you're able to maintain your home. I think that that is kind of where you find the harmony between, again, being a middle malist. <laughs> There's my tangent. Alright, I think that is all of the decluttering for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this new urge to purge. It's been a while since I've done a decluttering video and so this is something that has been on my list of things to do for so long. That's all I have. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy decluttering motivation. It lets me know that you do and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button to join our growing YouTube family. We will see you guys in the next video and if you're still needing some motivation, check out this playlist here on the screen. Bye for now. This time I might go out with my friends And I don't want your sad blue eyes